In this video, I will show you how to create dual tone color effect in Affinity Photo. To know the complete process, please watch this video till the end. Hello and welcome to the Affinity Vibes YouTube channel. Before we begin, if you want to get notified whenever I release a new Affinity Photo effect tutorial video, click the subscribe button. If you like my work, please hit like, share this video, and leave a useful comment. It helps me to motivate myself and produce more videos like this for you all. First, select your two image. Please note, if you have a way of doing something that I didn't do that way, that's fine. Because Affinity Photo has an infinite number of possibilities and therefore several ways to do the same thing and get the effects. So if you found a better way to do something or a way that's more comfortable for you, surely do it that way. Here I am doing it in my way. Now rename it 1 and 2. New adjustment layer. Channel mixture. Here select the blue channel. And reduce the blue radius to 0%. Put it in a layer number 1. Activated layer number 2. Hide for now layer number 1. Again go to the layer. New adjustment layer. Channel mixture. Here select the red channel and reduce the red radius to 0%. Put it in a layer number 2. Activated layer number 1. Now create a background and fill it with dark color. And put it below the second layer. Select layer number 1. Now change the blend mode to lighten. Again select layer number 2. Now change the blend mode to lighten. Now select layer number 1. Take a move tool and move it slightly on the right side, like this. Select layer number 2. And move it slightly to the left side. And match with the first image I. Now add a mask. Take a paintbrush tool. Hardness 0%. And gently brush over the eye part and a few unwanted parts and remove them. Follow the steps like this. Now add a mask on layer number 2. And do the same. After that use brightness contrast and curve adjustment to balance the image lighting. Then put all layers in a group folder and right-click and merge visible to make it in one layer. Now the sides and top of the image are a little bit messed up. So a simple way is to take a crop tool and crop this image's unwanted part. And that's it. If you found this video useful, remember to like it, share this video, and please leave your useful comment. Also, subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification to receive updates on my brand new video. Thank you so much for your support. See you again.